all right boys it is time to do a little bit of some trolling as we are going to be using the most cursed pp set to ever exist in pp and that is using small merlin with the full on recovery rate set now the reason why i'm doing this is because meliodas meliodas does not have an infect card so pretty much we can infinitely stall out meliodas until he's ready to rage quit and it's going to be literally merlin absolutely destroying emi king meliodas teams again as long as they don't infect us we are really really good so that's why we're going to be pairing this alongside of the new small king now the new small king does give you a shield first turn to proc up which the shield pretty much will stop the demon king from infecting you um that first turn and then we also have frozen so we can ult because lolly merlin has a nice shield which is kind of like goddess Elizabeth's shield where pretty much you cannot get hit with crits and then we have melee in the back to pretty much um cleanse debuffs once they get rid of fraudron so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully we can get some troll trolling going on and um let's see what happens all right we got demon king my boy champ five okay Again, usually I like to just try to get rid of Demon King just because he does have an infect. But he's usually gonna just AoE, which is gonna waste his shield. Um AoEs again. And this guy is kind of bold too because he's pretty much spamming his AoE. Can't lie, he's a pretty bold guy. Because honestly, I would not have done that. Cause now he just gave me a boost so i can just infect do this and aoe so now my shield about to be stupid strong so see ya 656k and merlin is gone i'm uh, merlin meliodas is gone which leaves demon king at one percent hp golly unfortunate for this guy this won't break yeah he made my shield so strong now doing that damn his aoe's and this won't crit gg all right let's see oh 320k um demon team okay well, let's see how this goes could we make this guy rage quit? I guess the only thing um I could probably do is can we have his dodge? Kind of force him also not want not wanting to AoE, which is really good. Okay. My best bet is to probably do something like this then. And this. Remember, we have damage cap, so. Even if he gets a melee boost, doesn't mean nothing unless he can infect me with Demon King afterwards. So he might think that, like, yo, it's okay if he just gold card because he gets to one shot my entire team. That's why I kind of like using this team because it's kind of like the unexpected. Oh my god, he's is he got the infect too? I think I think so. Okay, you I guess. Oh never mind, he's just you just spreading the love, huh? I guess that works. Or should I just do this? In case he tried to like um AoE. Just so I can get rid of um Estros in case he has holy relic. Remember I do have um I could always just cleanse. And he has light Liz. Interesting. So if he ults right here with Demi King, um, I'll just pretty much cleanse the debuff. 
Again, he has to infect me. Let's see Zolt. He's a level one. We're gonna cleanse with Fraudrin. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. And Demon King is now disabled too. Oh wow. I guess the only bad thing is that he has um Melly card. I guess we're just gonna ult then by infecting. And he has a high dupe Liz too, which is kind of crazy. 410. Yeah, that's because he has the damage reduction because of Liz passive. Which is why I say it's kind of crazy. So he's gonna ult. He's about to use melee cards too. He couldn't even break the shield. He's not gonna be able to break the shield again. Yeah, if he missed the crit. Um, I guess the only thing I can do right now is just use up all my cards. Cause he has freaking um. Bro, that damage cap is like really killing me. Okay, go for Demon King. Let's go. All right, Demon King is gone. Now it's just Meliodas um, versus uh, Marillion, you know. Again, Merlin can um, solo Meliodas. Okay, my guy, he still has the boost for himself. Yes, he actually had really good. Um, all right, I'm just gonna go for this then. Again, this is fine because again, we have Merlin, and I already know Meliodas is gonna be gone regardless, so it doesn't matter. I'm pretty much just trying to stack up cards, anyways. Meliodas should be gone. And we just gonna stack up our cards then. Meliodas, Merlin really should solo Meliodas technically. Okay. Uh huh. My hand is kind of terrible right now. I'm just going for this then. Again, him having the stacks don't mean much. With the um, balls. Because he can't really do much. He can't even do much with it. I guess the only bad thing is that I really can't get any hand. <laughs> I, I'm just going with Power Strike. Oh my god, 93k. Yeah, it was probably the best option to save my power strike then. Alright, one more turn until we get the, the de decrease thing. Here we're gonna give you the boost real quick. So you feel good about yourself. And then I'll just start probably just power striking afterwards. Especially because he has now more stats as well. Alright, let's start ulting. That should be GG. 166. So good luck to you. They didn't really get much. So that means Merlin is gonna finish you off right here. See ya, my boy.
Dang. Another ill. Alright, so let's have some fun. Um, okay, we got a Demon King player right here. Now, again, with this combination, usually um, you just want to pretty much stop Melios from wanting to AoE. Uh, especially because, you know, Demon King has the infect, so sometimes having a dodge food or King's shield can actually help. Just because um, usually they can't break the shield like that. And this guy is going for a fraud run. I guess he thinks because he got the ult control that that was going to help him. But usually that doesn't happen because um, Ritar Mio Link <laughs> on, on Merlin just uh, counters you. So he's going to go for this. I'm gonna go for an attack right here and another attack just get rid of Esterosa in general because usually um demon king won't be able to get rid of us but might as well get rid of Esterosa and if you get rid of Esterosa he won't have encroachment either so that's gonna be really good for us so let's see what he's got to do right here i don't think he gets the rank up yet with um demon king so now we have two ultimates ready and his internet just died yeah, that's going to probably be GG. Yep. GG. All right, so we're on here with a second match. And, ooh, an Ainz player. Now, Ainz is pretty outdated. So, that's kind of interesting. This man went all in for Ainz instead of Albedo. And look at him right now. He's trying to find some excuse to use uh, uh, Ainz. Because freaking... <laughs> Everybody should have just summoned for Albedo at this point, man. Because Albedo was the main character. Oh, so this guy going for single targets. Is he about to just spam single targets? <sighs> that might be bad for me. I guess the only thing that would be good is that Meliodas is going to be coming in. Um, with Fraudron. So if he's not able to get rid of Meliodas, um, then we'll have Meliodas ultimate. And then that's going to be pretty much GG after that. So I'm probably just going to... Um, i just going to attack with Fraudron most of the time. Just so I can stack up my Meliodas attacks. And then we just throw up the shield just to use it up. So we're just going to stack up our stacks um, for Meliodas. Because again, Fraudron is a demon character. And we're just going to throw up the taunt. Well, it's not even a taunt. It's just a reflect. Just to use up some cards in my hand. And I really don't mind that. Just because I am able to pretty much uh, just cleanse debuffs. So if he ends up just trying to do nothing, then we're in a really good position. So again, he just end up just trying to do nothing. So he's going to go crazy on either her and then just finish off with Meliodas. Because again, we have Infect and he also has um, Nashi buff. So we can just Power Strike because he has the resistance. And then Meli's going to probably blast him. Yep. So no more hell. So let's see what he's gonna do now. Cause Hale is usually like the best character for the unknown team, just because you do have all those debuffs. Um, and Tier has to pretty much crit me now. That's why most players they rock Tier with Albedo, because Albedo once you clear her stance, um, or she gets rid of her stance, she'll get a uh, give your allies like a twenty percent attack related stat boost, and he just lost. He forgot Frog and cleanses uh. The debuffs. So now he just lost. He's most likely going to forfeit right here. Because now I have Meliodas Ultimate, which at 4 out of 6 is usually like a one shot. And if not, Merlin's going to just save me, anyways. Yeah, he kind of misplays so hard with that Fraudron. Because Fraudron is level 60, so he's still able to just get nuked. Yep, GG. Yeah, he, he misplayed too hard right there. Yeah, this guy threw his phone at the wall. He just crushed it and everything. Because this is taking forever to uh go to the end. Where's my winning screen? This man just freaking tosses his phone in the freaking toilet. I can't even I can't even imagine what he's doing to that phone right now after losing against this meme. GG. All right, so this time we have goddesses, 369. 
Now, Goddesses is going to be a little bit tricky, um, just because Liz could take with my old cage. But it all depends if he's aggressive with this team. Because, again, not everybody remembers Red Tarmio Link. Um, Merlin? <laughs> like, y'all might be thinking to yourself, oh my god, like, Red Tarmio Tarm and Merlin shouldn't be that uh, annoying. It is actually an annoying combination. So, it takes... You have to actually remember um, how this team works in terms of Red Tarmio Link. It usually takes a good minute um, for Merlin to go away, especially if she's able to attack. Usually what you want to do is um, force her not to attack. Like if you have like a counter or if this Liz team stuns her, then you can pretty much force her not to attack because then she won't get recovery from um, doing damage. So she can't infinitely stall. But if you end up in a situation like this one, um, you want to try not to get rid of Fraudron as much as possible because then you're going to be setting up my Meliodas for a nuke or a... Um, Armelio is going to last a longer time. And he AoEs, which kind of about to give me my ultimate. Because you got to remember, um, since I'm using Meliodas, I can pretty much ult right here, and I have the shield, and then we can just go for a Power Strike. This is usually going to do a lot of damage because he does have Nanashi. Um... Well, it technically doesn't matter which card I go for. Because I could just AoE, double AoE, and then stack up my uh, Meliodas cards. So if I get another AoE, that will give me enough stacks to um, cleanse and get my attack boost, which is for the all creations. Oh my god, don't tell this man in that just died. Oh no, it did. GG, I'll take it. I don't care what happens. Uh, his internet died. All right, we back to another Meliodas team. 375k. Now again, guys, this team is pretty funny. Um, again, you might think to yourself, like, oh my god, you could just counter it with uh, Demon King AOE. But the thing is, you don't want to. That's why I have Fraudrin, so you don't AOE. Because Fraudrin is going to just pretty much make you want to not aoe as much as possible but this guy is crazy enough to aoe spam wow wow is he okay why would you aoe spam this now i'm just going to just nuke you with i'm just going to infect you ult you and then probably aoe with king and you're probably going to lose like two two out of three of your characters right now what the why would you why would you do that because <laughs> now i have the attack related stat boost from king shield from it going away and king also has the boost right now so now you just lost demon king and i still have king Sh king ult too so yeah you're probably gonna forfeit right here aren't you yeah he yeah the way is looking for his hp because again with the merlin shield you can't crit so meliodas won't be able to crit at all and he gave me so much damage because he um it was the 20 percent attack boost from king passive so look at that no crits at all if I was him, I would just forfeit. So that's going to be pretty much GG. He's most likely going to forfeit right here. Yep, GG. All right, let's see. We got here a Assault Mode Meliodas team. Interesting. And this man's name is Dolphin. Um, I think he's a dolphin in terms of like a whale. <laughs> now, this team is definitely going to be a little bit tricky. Cause he's gonna probably try to nuke yeah let's say he's gonna probably try to nuke uh, my king i guess what we can do is just spam attack card he wastes his amplify card um you know what i could probably just spam cards so we can go for infect and an aoe aoe just because king is gonna probably be going after after this anyways we might as well use them for something. So why not that? Now we really don't have no hand. <laughs> kind of unfortunate. Oh, he, I would say he shouldn't have AOE, but okay. Oh, he just AOE. He must be saving his infect card for a rainy day. 
which I really don't have no cards. <laughs> All right, and um, I think he had a red time your link on. Yeah, he had it on Escanor. So it's best if I just do this then. Just to get as much damage off as possible. Cause I don't want DB King to infect me. Which kind of sucks because I gave Meliota so many buffs. But look how many buffs Meliota just has. He just, if he gets an Amplify card, he's just gonna one turn Meli. Be fair. Yeah, he just goes straight for Meli. I just gotta hope he doesn't have an Amplify card. But I think is I think it has enough to pretty much one shot me. Yeah, I'm dead. And I'm literally getting no cards, bro. Uh, and she's gonna reduce my stats. Well, this is gonna be a long match. Cause unfortunately I have no hand. I guess if he ults right here, he's gonna cleanse, so. Let's see what he's gonna do. He just does nothing. Okay. My guy. No, you can just like attack, right? I'm just gonna do this. Just to put fear in his heart. Is that's what he wants to do, I guess. And then I just have mad fraudulent cards. So he's gonna ult with Melly. Um, I'm just gonna be encroached right here. Which is kinda unfortunate. He's gonna just reduce a lot of my stats. Yeah, I'm just encroached. And my guy over here forgot that he has, um, he forgot he's using, um, Esterosa. So he has to redo everything now. Again, not having an infect for him is kind of like tough. He, does, he did reduce all my stats though. Well, a little bit of my stats. Not those stats that matters, technically. Okay. That was a flood card. Okay. But we just gonna go for ultimate. Again. And we're gonna pretty much just ult. Three hundred and eight K, which is really good damage. I guess I can just infect right here. Like we just pretty much just punishing this guy, unfortunately. We're kinda just punish him for just like playing the game. Which is kinda funny. All right, so a lot of my stats are back. Um, I guess I can just save up my power strike for a rainy day, especially if he disables himself again. Okay, he's smart enough to not disable himself again. Uh, call me impress. Okay, we have a lot of gold cards now. So what I'm just gonna end up doing is just going to be attacking this Meliodas right here then. Since he has a lot of buffs anyways. And then I'm just gonna ult. Okay.
So let's see what it, my boy about to do. He's getting a little bit uh, anxious right now. And I mean, like, who wouldn't? And you see, you got like to deal with uh, uh, Lolly Merlin shenanigans, in PvP. Especially because I keep getting my shield, so. If I get a gold infect, it's pretty much GG after this. And that's GG. Because now I have a two turn infect, which I can just power strike his Meliodas afterwards. I wonder if he's going to attack right here. Huh? And he does, actually. That man needs that recovery, huh? He said, I need that recovery. So we're gonna go for a gold infect. And now that's pretty much gonna be GG because um Merlin actually defeats Meliodas. <laughs> so that guy is out of luck, huh? At this point, he's just trying to use cards. Okay. So he's gonna use this up. See you, Melly. GG. All right, we got. Is that Elaine? What the heck? All right, we got Elaine. And he's using green shield too, so that's fun. Um, I mean, I could make him stall by just using fraudulent cards. I think he's crazy enough to just spam AOEs. You know, he sees M Merlin. Okay, he is crazy enough. Oh. This man said, he saw Merlin and he said, I don't care. And got disabled after that too. So now our shield about to be even more strong. Um... So we can go for this then. Uh, all right, let's go for this then. Cause at least with the infect is gonna stay. And now once we oh, Merlin is either gonna one shot or uh, our shield gonna be so strong he can't do anything, and we one shot. And again, that this was a one out of six uh, king. So the attack related stat boost definitely helped a little bit or a lot. I wonder if having this barrier gives proc my holy relic or something. Doesn't look like it. Again, I was just curious. Once Melios gets cards, he's pretty much GG then. It's probably gonna be my last match. Um, I don't know if I don't know how I'm gonna have this recorded because I did have some matches where I was in what's that called Ch challenger uh, last week. I just forgot to uh, grind back my PvP, so I might add those matches in as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This really guys, and I'm out. Peace.